Welcome to Chemistry Classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about Chapter 1, CBSC Grade 9, Chapter 1, Textbook Exercise. Clear? Here, first question. Here, we are talking about textbook exercise. Okay, question number 1. Here, a list of things are given. Which things are matter? Okay, so look here. Chair, love, air, smell, hate, almonds, and thought, cold, cold drinks, smell of perfume. So here, which things are matter? Thus, we have to select. Here, we know chair. Chair, it is matter. Okay. Air, it is matter. Then, almonds, matter. Then, cold drinks smell of perfume these are matter okay we know love smell hate cold these are some feelings okay these are not matter also cold it is uh, cold it is not matter but cold drinks it is matter also smell it is not matter smell of perfume smell of perfume it is matter we know here smell of perfume perfume will move from one place to another place when i told you this explanation before when you open a perfume bottle over here you can feel a smell uh, into different place means here smell uh, here this matter moving from one place to another place so smell it is not matter smell of perfume it is matter here second question give reason for the following observation here many observations are given we have to give reason for this okay first question the smell of hot sizzling food reach you several meters away but but to get smell from cold food you have to go close hot food smell it spread faster several meters away but cold food smell not spread faster give reason for this <clears throat> reason for this in hot hot food particles have higher kinetic energy higher energy higher kinetic energy so these particles move faster that's why it smell spread faster okay in hot particles have more kinetic energy and it will travel it will move faster that's why hot sizzling food uh, smell spread several meters away but cold food smell not spread uh, several meters away or uh, we have to go very close to close to cold food then only we can feel the smell of cold food okay, okay here second one a diver is able to cut through the water in a swimming pool which property of matter does this observation shows in a swimming pool a diver can cut the water very easily which property uh, a which property explain which property of the matter does this uh, observation shows we know water it is liquid state in liquid state such as water less intermolecular force of attraction less intermolecular force of attraction this is the property in liquid state less intermolecular force of attraction also water is compressible water is compressible also less force of attraction between the particle that's why a diver is able to cut through the water okay okay next question here what are the characteristics of particles of matter what are the characteristics of particles of matter answer presence of presence of intermolecular space between them between the particles there is space presence of intermolecular space between the particles particles are in constant motion second one particles are in constant motion 
third one they are attracting each other so here the question is what are the part what are the characteristics of particles of matter what are the characteristics of particles of matter answer there are three characteristics of particles of matter there are intermolecular space between particles intermolecular space intermolecular space mean between particles there is space second one particles are in constant motion particles are in constant motion third one particles are attracting each other clear okay next question you can see this question page number six in your textbook page number six you can see this question okay here question saying density density equal to mass per unit volume we know density mean mass per unit mass per unit volume that is density okay so here we have uh, different substances okay uh, these are the different substances given in this list air x host fumes from chimneys chimneys you can see this figure x host fumes from chimneys honey water chalk uh, cotton and iron okay uh, you know chalk cotton iron they are solid state water honey they are liquid state air and x host fume they are gaseous state they are gaseous state here the question saying arrange the following in the order of increasing order of density we have to arrange this according to their increasing order of density increasing order of density so first less density then we have to write the things according to their increasing order of density so we know iron it is strong metal they have high density we have to write at the end and air it is gaseous state okay low density and we have to write first so we can arrange them accordingly air x host fumes okay air and x host fumes both are gaseous state both are gaseous state but x host fumes which consist of some smoke particles dust particles so here x host fumes are denser than air so here air x host fumes then water honey cotton chalk iron so you can arrange accordingly clear okay next question here tabulate the characteristics of states of matter we know states of matter we have to draw the table okay so you can see this table here you can see solid state liquid state and gaseous state solid they have definite shape liquid state shape depends on the container gaseous state there is no definite shape okay and here next one next point solid state intermolecular force of attraction is very high intermolecular force of attraction is very high in solid state liquid state intermolecular force of attraction is less gaseous state intermolecular force of attraction is very very less okay and here another property in solid state particles are tightly packed liquid state particles are loosely packed in gaseous state particles are further further apart next one here solid state particles cannot move only vibrate in a fixed position liquid state particles can move gaseous state particles can move freely randomly okay and here another one solid state particles are not compressible solid state not compressible liquid state liquid state compressible gaseous state highly compressible these are the difference solid state not compressible liquid state compressible gaseous state highly compressible and another one solids not flow not fluid it cannot flow liquid state it can flow gaseous state it's 
its fluidity is higher okay high fluidity okay so these are the characteristics of states of matter clear okay here next question we have to explain the properties of matter their properties such as rigidity compressibility fluidity filling of gas in container kinetic energy density we have to explain properties of different matter we know solid state liquid liquid state and gaseous state explain these properties in uh, in uh, solid state liquid state and gaseous state these properties mean rigidity compressibility fluidity filling a gas in container kinetic energy and density okay so look here here these are the property which i said rigidity compressibility and kinetic energy density fluidity solid state liquid state and gaseous state okay you can see here here rigidity solids are highly rigid solids are highly rigid uh, liquids are liquids are not rigid and gases are not rigid okay so here here solids are rigid liquid and gas are not rigid compressibility solids are not compressible solids are not compressible and and here liquid state and gaseous state are compressible okay here the order of compressibility solids are not compressible liquid state compressible gaseous state highly compressible clear next one here kinetic energy kinetic energy kinetic energy of solids are very less kinetic energy of solids are very less liquid state kinetic energy less compared to solid liquids have a greater kinetic energy okay gases have higher kinetic energy gaseous molecules have higher kinetic energy that's why gaseous molecules moving freely and randomly and it will take whole volume of the container it will take whole volume of the container when you take some gas in small container or big container it will take it will take whole volume of the container why because gas molecules have higher kinetic energy and these particles moving freely and randomly okay when you take water in a container it will it will stay on the surface of the container it will not take whole volume of the container okay here next one density solids have high density than liquid state than gaseous state gaseous state very less density and fluidity we discussed fluidity solids are not flow solids cannot flow uh, but liquids and gas it can flow okay fluidity is higher in gaseous state okay gases are highly highly flow uh, gases have high fluidity okay and solids are not solids cannot flow not flow okay here third question give reason give reason for the following first one a gas fill completely the vessel in which it is kept we discussed already here the intermolecular force of gas is very less it can move very freely and randomly that's why it will it will take whole volume of the container that is the question asking here a gas fill completely the vessel in which it is kept what is the reason reason same the intermolecular force of attraction between the particles are very less and gas particles moving freely and randomly and it will take whole volume of the container clear second question second question also related to intermolecular force of attraction here question is a gas exert pressure on the wall of container give reason a gas exert pressure on the wall of container reason same 
gas molecules moving freely and randomly you can start answer like this intermolecular force of attraction between gas particles are very less and gas molecules moving freely and randomly during its motion gas molecule hit each other gas molecule collide each other also gas molecule hit with wall of container okay because of this gas molecules exert a pressure so answer is intermolecular force of attraction between gas particles are very less gas molecules hit each other also gas molecule hit with wall of container because of this gas molecules exert a pressure clear next one we have to give reason a wooden table called a wooden table should be called solid why a wooden table should be called solid why why wooden table is solid we know uh, table wooden table they have definite shape definite mass it not flow not flow it will stay over there it is not it cannot flow it is not compressible okay it has high density that's why it is solid okay so why a wooden table is solid wooden table it has definite shape mass and it cannot flow also it is not compressible it has high density that's why wooden table should be called a solid clear next question here we we easily move our hand in air we can move our hand easily in air but do same through a solid block of wood we need a karate expert we can move our hand in air very easily but we cannot move same thing through a wooden block or we cannot move through a wall same thing we need some expert to do uh, same thing we need some karate expert or some trained person to do same thing why it is not possible to move our hand in a uh, wooden block or something same thing you can say here in in air uh, intermolecular force of attraction between gas particles are very less attraction between gas particles are very less so we can separate gas particles very easily but in wooden block it is solid state particles are tightly packed strong attraction between between particles of solid so to separate this it need high force very strong force needed to break this force that's why we cannot move our hand through a wooden block or through a wall it possible only in air because of weak force of attraction in air not possible in wooden block strong force of attraction between the particles in wooden block clear okay here next question liquids generally have lower density than solid state but you must have observed that ice float on the surface of water find out why we know water is less denser than solid ice it is solid state water it is liquid state ice float on the surface of water okay why the reason is ice is less denser than water ice is ice has less density than water number of particles per unit volume number of particles per unit volume in ice it is less less number of particles per unit volume okay in ice but in water number of particles per unit volume is i in unit volume more number of particles in water than ice that's why ice less density water high density okay only in case of water and ice it is exception case ice solid state but it is less denser than water that's why ice float on the surface of water okay next question this question you can see your textbook page number 10 
question is why does a dessert cooler cool better on a hot days why does a dessert cooler cool better on hot days okay hot days better cooling why so here reason is in hot days temperature will be higher temperature will be higher and less humidity it causes much more evaporation it causes much more evaporation high rate of evaporation cause cooling when rate of evaporation increases it will feel cooling so answer is the temperature is temperature is higher and less humidity on hot days hot days high temperature and less humidity which enable better evaporation high level of evaporation provide better cooling when you know for during evaporation it will absorb heat from surrounding it that's why it cause higher uh, high rate of cooling during evaporation or during hot days dessert cooler feel better cooling this is the reason in hot days uh, humidity will be less and the hotness will be higher that's why rate of evaporation will be increases clear okay here next question how does the water kept in a earthen pot become cool during summer why does the water kept in a earthen pot become cool during summer we know earthen pot which consists of many minute pore small porous pot okay earthen pot consists of many minute pores and during hot region in hot season uh, water particle get evaporated through this minute pore during evaporation water absorb energy from surroundings and water get cooling effect okay that's why water kept in a earthen pot become cool during hot days clear okay here next question why does our palm feel cold when we put some acetone perfume or petrol on your palm when you keep your when you keep petrol acetone or or perfume on your palm you will feel cold why answer for this petrol perfume or acetone they are easily volatile substance easily volatile substance mean they will change to vapor very easily okay so they are in volatile nature they will change to vapor when they contact they when they are in contact with air okay during their evaporation it will absorb heat energy from our palm that's why we feel we will feel cold so i will repeat the question again why does our palm feel cold when we when we put some acetone petrol or perfume on it here answer perfume petrol or acetone they are volatile in nature volatile nature mean they will change to vapor state they are liquid state they will change to vapor state very easily okay so they are in volatile nature they get evaporated when they come in contact with the air they will evaporate very easily means during its evaporation it will absorb heat energy from our palm that's why we will feel cold clear okay next question here why are we able to sip hot tea or milk faster from a saucer than a cup we can sip hot tea or milk faster in saucer than a cup why we know a saucer has large surface area than cup okay saucer has large surface area than cup that's why uh, that's why here 
to cure evaporation possible in in uh, saucer to cure evaporation possible in saucer than cup that's why tea or milk become more cool in saucer compared to compared to cup okay so answer is a saucer has large surface area than a cup which promote quicker evaporation hence tea or milk in a saucer cool down faster okay large surface area in in a uh, saucer has large surface area compared to cup so it promote higher high rate of evaporation there will be high rate of evaporation in saucer that's why tea or milk become more cooler uh, in saucer compared to cup clear next question this questions uh, you can see page number 9 in your textbook okay so here convert the following temperature to uh, degree celsius here temperature given in kelvin we have to convert this into degree celsius we know 0 degree celsius 0 degree celsius mean 273 kelvin you remember this 0 degree celsius mean 273 kelvin okay so here temperature given in kelvin 300 kelvin 300 kelvin mean how many degree celsius we know 0 degree mean 273 kelvin okay so we have to deduct 273 300 degree kelvin mean how many degree celsius we have to minus 273 so answer will be 27 degree celsius another one 573 kelvin 573 kelvin how many degree celsius we have to deduct 273 573 minus 273 so answer will be 300 degree celsius 300 degree celsius clear question number 3 question number 3 also related to same thing okay for any substance why does the temperature remain constant during the change of state for any substance why does the temperature remain constant during change of state change of state mean this is change of state solid to liquid state change of state liquid to gas state change of state this state change of state okay in this state temperature remain constant why not only water all substance same same thing happen why here answer is here this is solid state particles are tightly packed strong, strong force of attraction between uh, particles they are tightly packed okay and here particles uh, here liquid state particles are loosely packed so to change solid state to liquid state here solid state needs some energy it absorbs some energy to separate intermolecular force of attraction to separate this force heat energy absorbed look here here it is solid state here liquid state in solid state particles are tightly packed okay here solid state change to liquid state to change solid state to liquid state solid state must absorb some energy okay so here we are heating this heat energy used to separate force of attraction between particles that's why temperature not increasing in change of state same thing here in compared to gaseous state liquid state particles are close to each other and uh, and the force of attraction between particles are higher in liquid state compared to gaseous state in this in this region we are heating but heat energy not increasing in thermometer this heat energy used to separate intermolecular force of attraction between gas particles okay sorry intermolecular force of attraction between liquid particles okay that's why temperature not increasing here also temperature not increasing here i will repeat once again 
intermolecular force of attraction between solid particles are very high compared to liquid state so this region we are heating but temperature not increasing in thermometer this heat energy used separate intermolecular force okay we know to separate something we have to use some energy so this heat energy used to separate particles same thing over here also okay compared to gaseous state liquid state much force of attraction heat energy used to separate intermolecular force of attraction that's why heat energy not increasing in change of state clear okay next question what is the physical state of water what is the physical state of water at 250 degrees celsius and 100 degrees celsius what is the physical state of water to understand this uh, i explained uh, i explained already this one uh, you can check the video if you didn't watch you can watch the video okay so here uh this is the change of state this is melting curve when you take a piece of ice in a beaker put a thermometer keep heating ice will ice change to water water change to water vapor okay so when you record temperature and time in a graph you can see this part it will be ice here this part it is water and here it is water vapor and here this part it is transition state or change of state your water change to water vapor you know ice it is solid state your particles are tightly packed tightly packed water state water liquid state particles are loosely packed gaseous state particles are further apart very far okay so you understand this concept based on this here question asking so here at at uh, 250 degrees celsius what is the state of water we know above 100 degrees celsius water will be water vapor okay so 100 200 300 again you increase any uh, again you increase temperature any more you can see water it will be water vapor there is no any change of state okay so here at 250 degrees celsius water will be steam water vapor so which change of state gaseous state next one 100 degrees celsius in 100 degrees celsius uh, it is it is transition state it is transition state mean this temperature is between water and water vapor so at 100 degrees celsius water and water vapor it will be in equilibrium there will be water there will be water vapor same in 0 degree celsius ice and water ice and water will be in equilibrium clear so here here in 100 degree celsius water water exists in water form also water vapor form because it is transition state water do not here water not completely water vapor okay there is some water also there is some water vapor both are present so you have to say in 100 degree celsius water exists in liquid state also gaseous state water exists in liquid state and gaseous state here 250 degree celsius water exists only gaseous state only gaseous state here not asked 0 degree celsius so you understand in 0 degree celsius water exists in solid state also exists in liquid state clear in 0 degree celsius water exists in solid state also liquid state okay here 100 degree celsius water exists liquid state gaseous state more than 100 only gaseous state okay less than 0 degree celsius only only solid state less than 0 only solid state also here one question i am asking you what will be what will be the state of water state of water in 50 degree celsius 
okay in 50 degree celsius what will be the state of water you just write the answer in comment box clear last question here this is the last question here suggest a method to liquefy atmospheric gas suggest a suitable method to uh, liquefy atmospheric gas how can you change gas to liquid state we discussed before the previous video we have to apply high pressure and very low temperature high pressure at high pressure and very low temperature we can liquefy atmospheric gas into liquid liquid state we can change gas to liquid state at high pressure and low temperature clear Thank you for watching this channel. Please subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos. Thank you.